What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Rain Bean. Welcome to another episode of Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector. The, the series I started up give you guys a tidbit of what it's like to be a Game Hunter slash Collector. The shit you deal with all the damn time. And I'm so excited, guys. You, you should know why I'm excited. We have reached 10,000 subscribers and we are still climbing. So just like I told y'all before, get, get in on that contest. In the description is a link to Gleam. We got a fully refurbished Nintendo NES with a bunch of games, a zapper. Hell, I'm even going to throw this power pad in there. Why not? Because I damn sure ain't going to use it. Uh, and I do got some of the games here that I'm going to put in with it. Not You, know, you can't play that there. Uh, might as well throw pinball in there. We got Mario. Got to have a copy of Tetris. Skate or Die. Commando. You already got him, a Mario. This one's actually going to a subscriber who wanted to trade. Uh, and Excite Bike. And I'm sure I got more to uh, add to it. But we got to get some stuff done today, guys. I got that Sega CD uh, with a 32X add-on that we got to test. A Dreamcast, a 64, another Super Nintendo. We got to get a bunch of stuff done today. But... Like I said, you got multiple ways to enter. If you hit that link, you can enter just by doing the simplest of things and you can get multiple entries and have your chance to win a fully refurbished Nintendo NES because in the last episode of the vlog, we got the, the, the NES working perfectly. We'll get the games going with it and you guys got that chance. Thank you all so much for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. That is insane and I could not feel more honored. Guys, let's go out here into this shop and let's get to work. Alright guys, so we are out here in the shop and we got a major problem, oh shit, besides me about busting my ass. It's 84, 85 degrees outside right now, it feels absolutely amazing, but we are in a shop with no air conditioning. So my goal before anything, I gotta put an air conditioner right there and then I gotta clean this damn shop up. And I'm, I'm tired of it looking like this, you know that this big bucket right here is going to the flea market, a bunch of extra stuff, I need to list this. Uh, computer, I haven't tested it. I'll list it as untested. If one of you guys wants it, hit me up. You got your chance. Uh, but I gotta get it is it is hot. I'm already sweating. I've been in here like 30 seconds. Uh, so I gotta get that installed, and then we got to uh, we gotta clean this shop up. I can't have it looking like this every damn time. Floor is dirty. Let's get this done. All right, guys, we are done cleaning the damn shop, and I, I feel so much better. A lot of people are gonna be so proud of this. Look, look how look how good this looks. Uh, and you'll notice that the huge stack of games is gone. I'm only down to disc because, believe it or not, this is the next day. I spent a good hour, maybe an hour and a half while I was cleaning everything else. And I was just, you know, completely doing a whole bunch of refurbs on games. I got a box full that I'm going to take in there and I got to test those. And we got our AC in. Oh, thank the, thank the Lord. This, oh, shit. Don't fall over clock. I remember when I picked this clock up for $5. The reason I picked it up is if you can see to general electric anything general electric that's older it's usually worth something it's not it's probably like a 15 20 dollar clock but i needed it so i got it in the shop um over here all these consoles are the ones that we're going to test we're going to try to get these working as best we can sega cd ah shit i gotta go get a sega cd game so we can actually test it this was actually my old unit it only works with the door open we're going to see if we can't play with it and get that going but guys tell me if that just does not look so much better i'm so happy about that Hopefully it'll stick for a few days, uh, but we got we got inventory, man. Oh my god, I didn't realize because, as you will find out tomorrow with the Sunday video, there's gonna be a change to where, with the video, uh, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of this stuff in the shop before you actually even see it in the pickups. Let's just say that you'll you'll know what I'm talking about tomorrow when it, when it comes out when the news comes out. But anyways, we got a whole bunch of inventory. If we can get all this knocked out, I'm hoping. In the uh, next day, maybe the next couple days, we can start working on the other stuff. So anyways, let's set up this tripod here. Actually, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get this going right here. Alright guys, I wanted to start with the Sega 32X or the Sega CD, but I cannot find a Model 1 power adapter to save my life. So, we'll just have to move on and hopefully uh, get these other consoles knocked out. Because I'm not trying to sit here and spend all day digging in these boxes. I have got to order something bold. That's just going to be the bottom line. And with the Sega CD, I believe it's like a 10 volt. It takes a specific one. 
All right, so anyways, we got a 64 here. Let's go ahead and grab all the jibs for it. Let's see. We're going to need a power pack. We're going to need some AV. Let's see, I got to, I'm always telling myself I got to order, I got to order, but I'm always running out. I need GameCube power packs. I don't have any of those. I'm running out of AV cases too for the Nintendo's. See, what was real nice that Nintendo did is for the Super Nintendo N64 and GameCube, it uses all the same AV cable. So you can order these in bulk and they're super cheap. You can get like, I don't know, I usually get 20 or 30 at a time for like 10 bucks. I mean, they're not expensive. All right, so let's try this out again here. See if this thing's going to power up. Let's see, throw the old, I need that open because we're always going to be using it clean games. This one definitely looks like it needs it. I apologize for the rain. I got back from yard sales just in time, obviously. Bright boy, how, how have you gone so long without being in my life to give me your shine? I don't understand that because you are the most exceptional thing I've ever encountered. I like to make sure the game's 100% clean before we actually try the console. That way I can eliminate the game being the problem. Usually, a good cleaning will solve it. Alright. Now we're looking in there. Nah. Decent. We'll see how it does. Alright, let's plug you up. Power light comes on, so that is a very good sign. All right, so let's see here. How are we looking on the angle? Let's see what we got. There we go. Try to give you guys a little bit of the TV at the same time so you can see what happens there. All right, plug you up. Showtime. That's a no time. Damn it, you little bastard. All right, so this thing was pretty dusty. We're gonna do two different types of cleans here. We're gonna see. I just needed to be popped back in, but still. Oh yeah, there is no controller. Of course you're gonna remind me. Uh, what did I do? I had that green controller that I fixed last episode. I guess it is gone. Luckily I got a truckload of N64 controllers from a buddy. Let me just reach down here without dropping everything. I got so many extra controllers. Like I always tell you guys, go after your controllers. see what we get. Damn, that's some aftermarket Dreamcast controller. We don't want you. Oh shit, you barely want yourself. Alright, dear lord, I'm making a mess after I just cleaned. This joystick's all funky right here. I remember some of them he gave me were pretty bad. Let's see what we got. Controller is not inserted in the socket one. Uh, clearly it is dick. Let's see here. Where's my pocket rocket blower? There it is. Woo! Let's try you again. There we go. Sometimes it's a little air flow, man. Helps everything out. Seems to be, I can't remember, this is just a standard, yeah. Nothing too crazy about this one. I'll get this one fully tested. I'll pair it up with a better controller than this. This one is pretty floppy. If I'm not mistaken, I pulled out. Oh yeah, I don't know where this one came from. This joystick's right on point. I might swap it out for that. I won't do it with this bundle because I want to get through some of these bundles. 
So this thing appears to be working. Although this controller doesn't appear to be working. Oh yeah, it is working. Alright. This made wanted to show me that damn intro. Got these okay, got these D-pad. Pay-per-view. Oh my god. Alright. That one is good. I'll fully test it a little bit right before I list it and change it out with a better controller. But like I said, I kind of want to run through these consoles and get them going as best we can because I got a bunch, man. All right, so we're going to take that out and we're going to take that out. That way that stays with it. That controller, we're going to remove you and I'm going to fix you here in a bit. Let's move on. So while we got most of these attachments here, well, we got one of them at least for the Super Nintendo, which is the AV. Let's go ahead and grab a power pack for it. I know I have everywhere. Alright. There's that. Let's see. Can give us a power light. Yep, we got power. I saw the screen flicker. That's a great sign. Do I have any Super Nintendo games actually? No, I don't. Son of a bitch. I do got this one that I got from that lot. I don't can't remember if he said this was defective or it worked. It obviously ain't working. Well, obviously it is working. All right, Super Nintendo's working. I need to plug up a controller and check the port on it. Tom and Jerry, holy hell! I like how it says tester right on the label. Let me find a Super Nintendo controller here. It's crazy. I probably got like $500 just in damn controllers over here. But I keep them on hand because if you don't have any, then you're screwed when you need one. Same with power packs, but those are a little bit harder to come by. I, I typically keep all this stuff wrapped up. And for whatever reason, it ain't now. Son of a bitch. I'm cussing a lot, but you know what? Deal with it. All right, there we go. We got a that's a good controller too. All right, let's see if she works. Very responsible. That's a damn good controller right there, actually. Seems to be working right. Oh yeah, God, those graphics are just gorgeous. Is there no running? Not really. Why can't I why can't I crouch and and, and and throw something lower? I can't throw up. What kind of bullshit is that? I really only got one I, I got two buttons. I got throw and jump. And look, he jumps. There we go. It took it took like three hits. That's insane. Alright, this game, I've never played this game, but it looks gorgeous actually. I might have to sit here and dick off with a little bit. But let's. Now keep in mind, like you see me get, it's not the it's not the finish line with these consoles. I'll open them up, blow them out. Uh, this one is dusty all to hell. Like, look at this right here. This looks rough. You can see this black strip right here. Let's see if we can just go ahead and knock that out real quick. Nice little magic eraser. This is a good console too. It's not yellowed at all. Let's see how that magic eraser does with this. I don't want to wear it down too smooth. Coming off fairly well. You got to be careful with the magic erasers because it is an abrasive, that's for sure. And you're kind of smoothing things out as you clean them. God damn, it worked so well. Just look at that. I'll end up cleaning this whole unit and then getting it listed. And of course I keep my pocket air, well not pocket, there's a damn air compressor over here and that way I can actually open this thing up, blow it out completely and clean anything inside of it that might be uh, disgustingly there. So this right here, I don't want to smooth you out too much. Ah, you're about done. Look at that, came right off. A little bit of touch up here and there. And it's golden. I'll end up testing both ports because you want to test both ports because I've had systems where one port works and the other doesn't. Uh, but this thing will shine right up. I will have this listed on. I think I got it right now. I just sold an NES bundle. Uh, 
the blue game gear I think it's called I'm on hold on that one for now um, there hell I honestly don't know check out mama car if you want any of this stuff send me a message before you send me an offer if you send me an offer and you don't send me a message I don't know who the hell you are I'm like who's, who's this person trying to shackle me down if I know it's a subscriber obviously I work with you but if I don't know who to, I've had people buy things and then tell me that they're a subscriber and that makes me feel bad because I, I typically do pretty damn good deals for my subs but if I don't know it's a sub I have no idea how to help you alright so that super's working let's try this one out here this one's in a little bit worse shape as far as being dirty and it does have a little yellowing to it let's see here now I wanted to show you guys, oh damn it, I meant to turn that off, ooh. Okay, oh I just don't have that plugged up properly. Squeeze you in a little better. One thing I wanted to show people, because uh, I get asked this question a lot, is how to clean these pins if you don't have, don't mind this little tape on my finger, I've actually been bowling, and that's just, it, it's to protect that, that part of my finger. Um, but a lot of people ask me, how do I clean these pins in here if you don't have like a cleaning kit? I'm going to show you a real quick way. Um, you take you a card you don't care about. Um, it's got to be a stiff card like a credit card. Take you a shirt you damn sure don't give a damn about. I keep rags in here. So take that, wrap it into there. And this is basically a one-up card before one-up cards ever existed. A lot of old heads out there know exactly what I'm talking about with this. You take that, you open this up. And you can actually get in, you can't get both sides, but you can get that middle part. And then if you use the edge, you can clean these pins pretty damn well. Not 100% perfect, it's hard to get the outsides, but you, you do a pretty good job. And you can actually use that to clean 64s, uh, anything cartridge based, as long as you can get in there with that card. So that's a good way of doing that. Uh, let's plug you up, see if you're going to do anything for us. Which I hope. Come on now, start up. There you go. Why? Why? Why is that? It's it's just like with the other console. I had to start it up, and then then I don't know. Maybe maybe that's why he sold it. This one definitely appears to be working. The controller doesn't. There we go. I was like, what's going on here? One player, absolutely. This one's going to need some cleaning big time. What sucks is cleaning this ejector button right here because if you want to do a real good job, you take off the top and then you have the hell you have full access to it. You can get in here with the QZ. It's just a little bit more tedious. Um, but I'll have this thing shined up. Let's see how you're playing. Oh yeah, just that gorgeous graphics on this one. Plus, when you're this close to a nice CRT TV. Apex is a cheap ass brand, but it's not bad. Any any CRT TV, when it comes to gaming now, you know we're not dealing with like a, a Trinitron or something here. But it, it, they they typically look pretty damn good. Uh, the bigger screen TVs is when you want something you know pretty damn high end. But for what I do in here, as close as I am to it, I don't mind it at all. Sometimes I'll dick off in here for an hour, hour and a half, just testing games, playing around. Uh, it, there'll be a major cut in the camera, you won't even know it. But I've been sitting here. Just playing games. That's the fun of what I do. Uh, so, anyways, this Super Nintendo is good. We will have to shine this thing up, make it look a whole lot better. Um, let me see how much time we got on this camera. I don't want to spend because I only got 25 minutes left of filming time, and we still got a Dreamcast to test and a Wii. Yeah, I'm going to pass on the cleaning right now, but if you want to see the results, just check out my Macari page. That's where I sell consoles. I don't sell them on eBay anymore because I like you guys to have them. Uh, I lose money, but you know what? I like to spread the joy. All right, there's that. Let's get you out of here. Let's try out the Wii. All right, I ain't going to lie. I absolutely hate setting up Wii's, man. Uh, but actually, I do got... I got three weeds we're gonna burn through while I got it set up. That way I don't have to redo it uh, again, get them all tested. This one I picked up at Goodwill for $10 with two controllers. Never powered it on. Hell, we might get lucky with a game inside. That's always like, oh, it's got the condoms on it too. All right. Come down in here to my stash of weed shit, which I got 
bukus of it everywhere. Alright, let's see here. Such a process to set a damn Wii up. Alright, let's see. There's step one. I'm going to keep all this jumbled up together. A lot of you out there be like, why don't you untangle that? But no, because I don't want to have to wrap it up right now. We're going to be super quick and easy with this. Let's see. Wii's are such a pain in the ass when it comes to not wanting to work sometimes. Oh, excuse me. Alright, there's all that. Let's remove the condom, peel it back. These things are ribbed for your pleasure. Oh lord, there's batteries. Nah, they haven't been eaten up though. Damn, sure ain't working no more though. Alright. Any juice? There we go. I'll leave the back off of it just so I can. Alright. Did I, did I plug you in? No, I was like, why, why ain't there no power light? Oh shit, not a good sign already. <clears throat> there it is. Alright, pull the sensor somewhat to where I can kind of look at it. Is there a disc inside? Come on, Smash Brothers. Nope. It is the GameCube compatible, which is nice. Alright, you damn sure. Oh yeah, you're already synced from the last time. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's see. Sensor's in a stupid ass spot. Alright, I gotta find the disc. We gotta test it out. Alright, Rec Room 2. Dear Lord. Let's see what we got. Just load up for me. Don't give me the disc read error, and I'm good with it. I'll play around and be happy with it. That disc was fairly scratched though, I'll give it that. It's having trouble. There it goes. Hit red. Start on up. Alright, it's not it's not giving me the air. It, typically it will not even load the game. You won't see that CD drop if it can't read. It'll just make that terrible noise a lot of you guys out there know um, so let's try another Wii here Wii's are not big sellers some people have decent luck on Amazon with them, but I'm not the biggest fan of Amazon I think that's gonna be a video discussion shortly um, it's got its perks but at the same time it's I don't know I don't see the worth in it alright so let's go ahead and try out another Wii while we got all this set up looking good Make sure I don't get all these confused with a broken one. Alright, Wii number two. And I actually keep all these tops for the ones that are defective. I keep them so when I get ones that are like this, well, guess what? I can complete it. It sells that much easier. Alright, crank on up. Do you got anything special inside? No one's going to hook me up with any... This thing is dirty as hell on the inside. Oh, my God. There we go. Blast away your worries with compressed air. All right, let's open you up. i got to sink it. I ain't got no nails, man, and it sucks. You know, if you want to see, if you want to see a sad sight, see a grown-ass man struggling to, like, open up a pack of ham... You know, and I gotta go to my wife and be like, honey, you know, this ham is beating my but you know if there if there is a pickle jar, holler at your boy, because I'm gonna handle that. But you know, the ham, uh uh. I can't do it. Alright, let's see here. The sink button is right there. Damn it, you pain in the ass thing. You gotta be aiming this thing at the Wii. Uh, everybody thinks you gotta aim it at the Wii, but you gotta aim it at the sensor. There it goes. Alright, rec room. Toss you in there. You seem to be the game of choice right here. Are you going to work? I sure hope so. I'm getting caught up with all these damn Wii's. Hell, I picked up another one today, but it was a phenomenal Wii, though. You'll see that in the video tomorrow. One that I definitely needed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Read. And I just realized, if I don't have the AV cable for that damn Dreamcast, if I don't find one, 
I can't remember what the hell it takes, honestly. I gotta look at it. Alright, this thing's working. We'll hook this thing up with some tops. Call it good on that one. I got one more weed to burn through. Power you off. Remove your life support. Two weeds down. One more to go because I got to get this other stuff done. I still got to go in here, edit this video, finish editing Sunday's video, and probably do some listings. There's going to be some time to relax in a few weeks, I guarantee it. Uh oh. You have no power. We got us a dud, people. That's what I'm talking about. Weeds never let me down with their. Bullshit. Yeah, I guarantee your ass is dust. Yep. As the famous meatloaf once said, two out of three ain't bad. This, people, is why I tell you, do not spend a lot on Wii's. This one being GameCube compatible, I spend tops $5 just for the console, $10 if it's got some hookups. I have so many defective weeds. You can fix them. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes because these things are a pain in the ass to open and, and try to fix the, the, the disc reader. errors. Somewhat of a simple fix. It's still a pain in the ass and it is just not worth it. What I take them is I put them down here in my junk ass pile and let someone else deal with it. It's not worth it to me. Alright, so let's unplug all this. Because you got to keep in mind, you saw my wall of inventory. I would much rather refurbish a nest than spend my time with a busted weed when they typically just don't go for that much if it went for more hell I would definitely spend more time on it but I typically sell them around 30 to 40 dollars with everything and that just you know that's just the wires and a, and a, and a Wii mode that's it you can get fancy and, and make these crazy bundles and get a lot more but simplistic all right Let's get this out of here and I'm going to see if I have all the necessaries for a Dreamcast. Alright, so I know I got the power the power cord. I know I got that much. Um, but, they're not coming at it with that down. Alright, doesn't matter. It's not a crazy game. Um, I don't know if I have that AV out though. That one takes something funky now. And it, I don't know, it, looks, it kind of looks like a PlayStation one or a PlayStation 2 style one, but it's a lot a lot more different. Let's see what we got in the magical box. I doubt I don't I don't know why this would work. That couldn't work. Yeah, there ain't no way. Uh, I don't know why I tried that. Hell I, I I don't know, it's one of them days. Guys, this is it. This is, I can't test it. I don't have the AV out. Uh, my dumbass tried to put a PS2 one in there thinking uh, it looks similar, but it doesn't. Um, and I don't want to go in there and pull the one out of my game room because that would be a pain in the ass to do. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to order power packs for Sega CDs. I'm going to order a few fuses too in case there are some blown fuses of that because I don't want to encounter that problem and not have a fuse. And order a few. I need to come in here with a sheet. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do when we end this video. Is get a track of all the inventory that I need. Because I'm tired of running out of stuff. Um, and again, that's why I always ask you guys out there if you got any extra power packs or anything like that for trade. But with that said, guys, we got two Super Nintendos done. Uh, two Wii's and an N64. I'm happy with those results. Hit me up on my car if you need anything. Message me first. And make sure you're entered into the 10,000 contest giveaway for that refurbished Nintendo NES bundle. Guys, as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.